Midwinter is about medieval cultists trying to impose order over primal forces they can't comprehend. And it's about those primal forces striking back. The main protagonist is stuck between these two worlds. He is a former cultist turned werewolf out for revenge. The game itself is a top-down stealth action arcade. The main gameplay innovation is the 3-minute Sun Moon cycle, where the player has to use their daytime skills, such as lockpicking or spreading rumors, to best prepare the terrain for the nighttime havoc when they are an overpowered monster. But not everything can be solved with stealth or action, sometimes you need brains, like in this bridge example. The bridge is lit up by pixie lights, revealing your true nature during the day, and during the night is just too heavily guarded. You're gonna get killed either way. So what do you do? This is one example of how to solve it, but the game is open for many different solutions. You break into a villager's home, steal his clothes to dress up as one of the cultists, put a hoodie on and pass undetected. So you can use the cultist's AI against them. Here we hide firewood to lure the lumberjack into the woods at night. This works because everyone has a role they perform, which tells them what they are supposed to do. They also have a suspicion meter, which tells them if a fellow cultist is a bit too suspicious. If you get 3 strikes, you're out. Like this poor innocent bystander will take the fall because he's seen by another villager near a dead body. Time for a pitchfork mob. Of course, being super suspicious yourself, you'll often be running for your life from angry pitchfork mobs as well. In fact, this constant switching between feeling clever and running for your life is the core feeling of the game. But a really clever player can use this daytime wisely to spread rumors and incriminate others, especially if it's incriminating someone important. So obviously there are many different playstyles that accommodate different players. Some like more action, some like stealth, some like pitting the villagers against each other. That's where the skill tree comes to shine. So we just did a side quest of eating a live pixie, and we got our first werewolf skill, Howl. The werewolf relies on brute force and most of his skills raise panic or make attacking easier. The vampire is more about creating loyal minions, and the witch is more about making hallucinogenic concoctions that raise suspicion and paranoia. The core gameplay works great as a single-player narrative experience, with characters being switched in and out at key junctures like at Ancient Wells. But it is also in our plan to have a co-op mode with two or three players so that you can play the characters simultaneously and add to the fun.